I really appreciate what you had said in terms of our fair share. In many of the discussions I have, uh, people think we're asking for more, more than uh, uh, what we deserve there, but I ask for the same unemployment rate, the same average household income, educational achievement levels, uh, standard of living and health as anybody else. We're entitled to it and we should have it. In terms of that, I think we really need to be taking a look at uh, focusing on the fiscal relationship. Uh, you know, from the uh, housing uh, shelter uh, policy meeting that happened in Merritt, a councillor from my community went and said they're planned $160 million cut from the budget over the next three years. And I just see that tribal councils and uh, uh, Aboriginal organizations or leadership organizations being cut. So it's important that we do address it because we continue to see the erosion of the, of the financial arrangements between Aboriginal communities and the federal government. And it's, it's like we bear the brunt of reducing in the uh, national debt or the, the operating cost to Canada, but we've got to remember that that was a fiduciary responsibility for lands that they've taken from us and for benefits that they continue to take from our lands.